And even the Olympic team finna go against right now, gonna be old as hell. A lot of these ladies, oh, who is this DeMontis person that, that, that I saw yesterday? DeMontis, who, who is she supposed to be? They say she a 31-year-old European person, right? What the hell you doing over here? You were a non-factor. They kept you and got rid of Celeste. I ain't going to let it go. I ain't going to let it go because Celeste was also pretty. And we ain't got no... I ain't, ain't going to do it. I'm not going to go there. Hey, yo, what up? It's your boy, Chocolati with the Sexy Body. Welcome to a new episode of Chocolati Plays. We are back. Reaction videos by Kayla Clark. Man, what do you expect? What do you expect when you go against a team that got four Olympians on it? What do you what do you what do you want them to do? This is a video game team, guys. Four Olympians. Three of the four Olympians scored 28, 34, and 20. They scored 77 points. 77. The other one scored four. At that, 81. Guys, the Fever scored 69 points last night. They could have won a game off of just those three players. Everybody else could have just stayed, sat down, stayed in the damn seats. They ain't even got to play tonight. <laughs> now you got to play. These, just let these three play. And this wasn't a great defensive effort from the Aces. It's just the Fever couldn't score. 28 for 77. 28 for 77. 36%. Guys, they were six. They were six for 26 from three. Mitchell hit five of those threes. Kayla hit one of them. What is Katie Lou out there for if you can't score? I hate her jump shot. <laughs> I hate Katie Lou's jump shot. I put Lexi in the game. If you want somebody to try to score some threes, Wallace has been off for I don't know how long. That she didn't found the bench. This lady gonna say they're gonna start Katie Lou because they want to get more rebounds. What the hell are you talking about? They need to get more points. They need to get more people out here scoring. And Katie Lou wasn't scoring. You know what else y'all need to do? They need to get more people out here playing defense. Because they beat y'all ass. Why did Plum get to score 34 points? Did y'all watch my live yesterday? I said y'all need to neutralize one of those three players. You ain't got to worry about uh, Chelsea Gray right now because she's still injured. That's the one that's on the Olympic team that people are saying that they believe that Kaylin can replace. But they call her the point guard. And she's hurt. But you still got players over there with Jackie scoring 20. With Plum scoring, scoring 34 points. That is a, a new high for her. Look, everybody come to play against the Fever, guys. It was 20,000 plus people in the damn stadium. They had to move it to a bigger stadium in Las Vegas on the Strip. Because they brought that many people to the game. Everybody played a best game against them. Hell, Jewel Lloyd has scored 34 points against them the first time she played against them. They know they're about to be on TV, guys. They know they're about to be televised. And they can talk all that crazy shit, talking about, oh, we used to this. We used to these games being televised, da, da, da. No, hell no. Hell no. They did, it never look like this. They never, y'all know how them games used to look. It don't look like that no more. They out there watching these people play. They are there to watch Kayla Clark play. All of her Iowa people come down there watching her play. Her coach came to watch her play. Old coach. They come in to see her. She put the asses in the seats. And these ladies are showing off when they do. They showing the hell off. Did y'all see Asia out there? Asia's got to, she has to be. She has to be the best player in the WNBA. I have to be honest. That girl, you see, you see a crossover to the Euro step? <laughs> You see her jump shot? Her jump shot is nice. She, I told y'all she played like a guy. <laughs> she played like a guy. And when you got somebody like that that's heating up and ain't nobody can stop them, I need y'all to go over there and try to stop Kelsey Plum. Every time Mitchell got on Kelsey Plum, she tore her ass up. Y'all talk about Kayla's defense. You need to be talking about Mitchell's defense. Mitchell has terrible defense. She's only looking to score, which is, I don't really have a problem with. If she just stopped trying to run the offense through her, let Caitlin find you because she's a great spot up shooter. Let Caitlin find you. Run off some screens so I can find you. Caitlin was out there cooking. Y'all, she got another double double. They didn't even say nothing about that. Th that loss and the fact that she hasn't got a triple double yet and the fact that she didn't shoot great from three pointer 
they overlooking the, that she had another double double. And these double doubles that she getting are a lot harder than Angels because they offer points and assist, and the person has to score. And she has six rebounds. Caitlin right now is leading all rookies in every category except rebounding. <laughs> That's it. And the only reason why I would see that they would give the MVP uh, rookie of the year to Angel is because it is strict that she's on this double-double. But in all honesty, it would have to be one of those Jason Kidd, Grant Hill years. Like when they both got the uh, co-rookie of the year. Because the way that they're both playing, if you take into account the fact that she has, this this is not a rookie record that she got. This is a WNBA record. And yes, we've discussed this. <laughs> she gets her own rebounds. We know this. But she gets her own damn rebounds. Ain't nobody else getting them. Ain't nobody else getting them. And she's on a hell of a run with this shit right now. So much effect that it's the best ever. It's the best ever. And we're still waiting on Kayla to get a triple-double. And she's been so close. I believe, was it three or four times she's been close to triple-doubles? I ain't going to let you let that shit slide, Coach Sides. If she don't end up getting the triple-double, I'm going to go back to that. <laughs> I promise I am. But they got a lot of more games to play. I think they got like 19 more games. And she's going to get that triple-double, guys. That's, that's too easy. It's too easy. And it's going to come against one of those teams that's going to be like uh, the Mystic, you know, or like the Spark. You know, it might be the Sky. Because she almost had the triple double against the Mercury. That's a good team. She might go out there and get it against a good team. She could have had it, damn. She could have had that that night too. She was only four rebounds away. Caitlin's going to have to go unconscious, guys. She's going to have to go unconscious out there and play her type, her style of basketball. Because. Coach Sides is not ready to take that leash off of her. She's not ready yet. And you can see it. You can see it when, when Kaitlyn did that, that crossover move behind the back and drove to the glass. You can see it in stuff like that. Coach Sides don't want her playing like that. Coach Sides is, what y'all call her, an equal opportunist out there on, 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 in scoring. She wants more balanced scoring. What the hell you talking about, balanced scoring, Coach, when I'm the only one that's scoring, me and Mitchell in Boston. Ain't nobody else scoring out here, so what you want us to do? I think that's how Mitchell feels sometimes. She's like, screw it. We got to score. I need Caitlin to feel like that. I need her to go out there and do that. The, the relationship between Coach Sides and Mitchell is more buddy-buddy than Caitlin. But, hell, you're just going to have to have a hate you. Have a hate you. Screw it. You're going to have to unleash. Unleash the white mamba, like I've been calling you. You're going to have to unleash that. Like, I know you can. I, I see glimpses of it. Did y'all see her put on the turbo boosters to the glass for the layup? I didn't know Kayla was that fast. Damn, she's fast. And I was over here saying that Mitchell and Wheeler was fast. I think Kayla can get with them in speed when I see her out there running. But that's what I need to see. If Kayla is like that, running that damn fast to the glass, then everybody got to get with it and get with her and do the same shit. I need y'all sprinting down court, getting them old ass ladies in the WNBA tired. They old. It, it, for their standards, they all like 30, 30 and up. You got some sprinkled around here, uh, late 20s, but they old. That Merc sorry, that Mercury team that they just played, some old biddies. Some old ditties. <laughs> they old as hell out there. And even the Olympic team they're finna go against right now, gonna be old as hell. A lot of these ladies, oh, who is this DeMontis? Person that, that, that I saw yesterday, DeMontis, who, who is she supposed to be? They say she a 31-year-old European person, right? What the hell are you doing over here? You were a non-factor. They kept you and got rid of Celeste. I ain't going to let it go. I ain't going to let it go because Celeste was also pretty. And we ain't got no, I ain't, I ain't going to do it. I'm not going to go there. But this DeMontis person, I don't feel the need to be on the damn team. You showed me nothing. Not a damn thing. What did you, you look overweight too. Look, man, it was a terrible shooting night. Terrible, terrible shooting. 28 for 77. You guys can't do that. You guys can't do that. Six for 20 plus three pointers. You can't do that, guys. 18 turnovers. You can't do that. You can't do that. Y'all out rebounded them, but you turn the damn ball over so many times that they score off all the damn turnovers. They blow up on y'all ass in the fourth quarter. Outscored y'all 23 to 10. 
Nobody scored on the team until five minutes and 55 seconds into the fourth quarter, and it was Mitchell. She scored off a block from Asia, blocked her shot. She got it back and went over, spot up three. They ended up having 62 points when she scored that three-pointer. They finished the game with 69 points. So they only scored seven more times. That's unacceptable. That's unacceptable. Kaylin can't be shooting the damn ball 12 times. She can't be shooting the ball 12 times. And also with Kaylin, you got to understand she got to get into rhythm. I don't feel like she's scared out there when she's going against these people. She's not scared and she's not tired, but you can't do it by yourself. And she's going to need her team to go with her. And she's going to need the coach to let her take over this team and take it to that next level. Otherwise, keep playing like this. What's up with the free throws, Smith? What kind of ball are you out there playing? You got to get your ass over there working your free throws. One for seven? That shit is unacceptable too. That slows the game down and lets y'all score. And y'all needed that at certain points of the game when y'all was, was pulled in so close. If you was knocking your free throws down, you would have turned the momentum around of the team. All these things matter, guys. All of them matter. And it has to be a total team effort from all of y'all and not this damn hero ball because Mitchell and Smith start trying to play that way. When they saw Kelsey Plum start going off and they start seeing Asia start going off, they start trying to go to one-on-one ball too. You can't do that shit. You're going to lose as a recipe for disaster. And this shit is sad because this team still ain't finna get a break. They look very tired in the fourth quarter. That's why you start so many shots falling short. And now they finna get ready to go play against the Liberty. The Liberty, I think, only lost three damn games this year. This is, this is what, this is what this, this team is on. This path is on. No, no, I think they lost more than three. Let me take that back. Because, you know, I don't know. They might. I need to go check the, check the stats. But this is the path that this team is on. Going from the, Mer look, the Mercury right to the Aces, right to the Liberty. That's a total of... Three, five, nine Olympians that they fin they end up playing on their last stretch before they start they go back to home games. Isn't that some wild stuff? That's some wild shit, ain't it? <laughs> but it's how the, it's how the WNBA is set up, man. Like it's a small league, so it's easy to get that many great players over there on one team, guys. It's it's just that easy. And Coach Sides, I'm gonna need you to turn it up. Let let the chains off of Kaylin. Let her go out there and ball. Please, get a team to, because they play around her. Kaylin to Boston is a real thing, guys, and I can't wait to continue to see it. And Boston back to Kaylin for the three. That's how Kaylin's going to start getting heated up to start hitting her threes, because they're going to be coming back from passes from Boston. Elijah Wan, that's how you used to find Kenny Smith and Sam Cassell. I'm old school, guys. I'm very old school. The center is the masterpiece. Rebounds, find the open shooters. That's what Boston can do. That's what she's been doing. She's been double-doubling too. Ain't nobody saying nothing about her ass either. They quietly over here doing this shit. They got three All-Stars over there. Kaitlyn won the All-Star ranking. She won number one. She was number one All-Star voting. 700,000. 700,000. You know who got number one last year? In 2023? Asia. Guess how many votes she got? 95,000. You a damn fool if you don't believe that Kaylin had turned this shit around for y'all. And that Kaylin could turn that team around for them. I don't want to see a game like this ever again with that type of shooting. Pathetic. Go sides. Work on your defense. Transition defense is terrible too. Get back on defense. Run back down court. I had them. I had their ass out there running suicides at practice today until they throw up. <laughs> Get your ass back on defense. I'm not playing. I'm not playing, but I, that's Coach, Coach Sides. That's your job. You need to have it happen. Guys, I'm going to shut this thing down. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Hit that notification button so you know when your boys drop videos. I appreciate y'all being here. I think I was a lot more calm than I usually am on this microphone. Probably because I gave y'all so much in the live. And if you didn't catch that live, it's up there. And I'm going to be doing more lives in the future, so y'all tap in when I do. And you got to hit that notification button so you know when I'm doing it. When it, It's, it's going to bing, bing. It's going to let you know I'm, I'm on. I'm live. <laughs> so you guys, man, my... This is my post game. This is my post game reaction. Got the black on for the funeral because people got beat. They died yesterday. <laughs> Hope they didn't come back to life against the Liberty. It's going to be a hard game. Got two more Olympics they got to play against, but who knows? They play that running gun style of basketball. They make a wham down. They can pull off the upset. We believe in you, CC. Take them damn chains off of her coach sides. Or else, CC just go out there and be CC. You guys.
Take care. I appreciate y'all being here. And if I say it, like I said, I ask if you're new, you know, subscribe, Chocolate Crew, like, notification, know that I'm here. Y'all gotta take care. Peace.